Hi again. We have been closing in on uh, finishing our new rendering tool, making some final refinements, picking uh, which reflection maps will go into the final collection, that sort of thing, fixing uh, last minute bugs, and making those kind of changes. So I uh, just wanted to give up one last little uh, video just to show that we are indeed. Uh, more or less refining this to the point where to where it's really usable and final and uh, we will be moving on uh, thereafter to some new features and other things of course but uh, just take a quick look I'm sure you've all seen it by now but we've got the uh, new render filter render geometry filter that uh, lets us render geometry which is uh, Pretty much what it sounds like and as you all know we've seen the astronaut a dozen times uh, but the new render engine it can do normal maps clip maps uh, ambient occlusion maps metalness um, how you can really see the detail that those normal maps are uh, adding to the uh, Final shading. Uh, we use uh, GGX shading now, um, which gives more realistic uh, metallic type surfaces, and that uh, and more uh, more realistic shading in general. You have uh, everything has uh, Fresnel and uh, specularity is treated like a uh, uh, what is supposed to be a reflection and not just a, a cheap. Uh, simulation of a uh, reflected light, but uh, uh, specularity basically means everything is reflected. So in that in that regard, we have the ability to put some uh, some reflection maps on the uh, the objects, which can uh, reflect various things. And you see it over not just not just a particular surface that has uh, a, a reflectivity surface, but pretty much the entire object now can be reflected. Uh, because it has that that Fresnel quality and that uh, that specular quality, but you especially see it in areas uh, that are have a mirror-like quality, like the like the uh, the dome on the on the face helmet here and the face helmet. That sounds kind of funny, but um, you get the idea. You see reflections, and it uh, it's not just on the on the on this dome itself, but it's all over the uh, the entire object. And if we change the uh, reflection map, you see it changes the the um, if we change the <laughs> let me say that again. If we change the reflection map, you see it changes the entire lighting of the entire scene. So uh, there you go. And I'll just load up a few other objects that we've already seen before, but you know, they're good and they stand uh, a reasonable chance of looking nice in the new render. Uh, you can see that we fixed some problems with the, the reflection maps where they were too dark before. We have corrected that. You can see that the object now has a nice metallic sheen to it. Um, as we move this around, you can see that sheen. And the object seems to have a sort of a depth to it almost because it's picking up the reflections of the environment. So there is that. And I was also going to mention uh, something, <laughs> but that is uh, basically it for now that we we fixed the shading. Uh, we have also uh, corrected, we, we switched over to a more higher position uh, floating point model, which fixed some, uh, some file, pro file loading problems. Uh, overflows and that sort of thing. So those are the basic things we've been doing. Um, in a, in previous builds, there were some trouble loading some of the default uh, foliage uh, geometry that comes with the program, uh, and that has been corrected. So you can now load all of the foliage, foliage that comes with the uh, in the geometry folder, uh, as well as all the example uh, test files. So uh, that's about it for now. Just wanted to make sure. That uh, we're all on the same page. That uh, Howler's coming along nicely. Uh, we're fixing bugs, and 
um, really getting this 3D render render engine ready for the future. Hopefully, be moving on to you know things like ray tracing and all that, and so forth and so on. So, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, and ta ta for now.